Welcome to my 1991 shipbox, Nissan Sephira. Why Nissan Sephira? Well, it's an affordable rear wheel drive four door car with infinite engine swap possibilities. There are plenty of body kit options and it shares a similar platform to the extremely popular S13, Nissan Silvia or 180SX. So it's really easy to get aftermarket part. I've had this car for over 10 years and just recently I got it looking like this which may or may not be a good thing but there'll be another video on the channel showing you the process of me removing five-year-old stickers. This car is going to go under renovation for the exterior predominantly and we're going to be going for some uh, bigger fender flares in order to house larger wider rims. These rims right here are the front rims from the set which are about 8J but I've got the rear sets which are 9J which will fit in the front. If I put the same 225 tire on it'll stretch it better for stance. Other things about this car you've got this uh, bonnet here this is from a C33 Laurel which is uh, a more luxurious version of a Sephiro. Right now the interior has R33 seats to go with the R33 dashboard and I'm thinking about swapping the front seats and the rear seats and putting in a pair of semi buckets and possibly furnishing the car with a full roll cage because it just means that the car's a lot safer, number one, and two, the chassis will be more rigid which means the car handles a lot better. More grip on the road, tires, wheels, they're where you want them to be. Upgrades I've done so far for this car. Well, the front end has completely adjustable front and lower arms. It's got um, Tien HE suspension all round, which is fully height adjustable. It also has high low, soft hard adjustments. So you can adjust the preload, you can adjust the damper settings, and a body, body shift. So here we have an R32 GTR rear brake so you can see it's like a twin pot over here at the front we have I think R33 front twin pot discs so that's on there and that means that I can put a minimum size wheel of 16 inch but 16 is a dodgy size more for Hondas not hating uh, so 17 is the way to go for this car performance is what this vehicle is supposed to be all about. Right now it's got a Nissan SR20 S14 VTC engine. which makes a terrible amount of noise, but it also makes a terribly good amount of power. It's got a big turbo, uh, KKK MGA 3060, which puts out a maximum of 450 horsepower. The car only does a maximum of 360, but with a fuel upgrades, uh, we're gonna see more power close to about 380 wheel horsepower, and I can't wait to get that done. We're gonna be doing some dyno tuning on this car. We're gonna be working on its power F FC, ECU. Uh, we're going to be doing all sorts of things to it, changing the cams, fuel injectors. I can't wait to get that all done and then we're going to put the car to the test. So make sure you follow me on the journey with my Nissan Sephiro shitbox as I fully revamp it, exterior, interior and engine. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And be sure to check out some of the other videos we've got over here. Maybe that one, or this one, or that one. Remember, get fueled. <laughs>